dear learners i'm going to deliberate on family adequacy which is one of the monocotyledony family let me introduce myself to you myself from dr jyoti s super associate professor department of botany and pg studies government science college autonomous rupatunga road bangalore adequacy family is also called as the family palmi it's commonly called as palm family and the type genus over here is cocos nucifera that is the coconut now let us look into the systematic position of the family according to engler and prandtl system of classification this family belongs to division embryophyta siphonogamma subdivision angiospermae class monocotyledony order principes family ericaceae now about the distribution and the size of this family this family includes 217 genera and approximately 2500 species out of which 28 genera and approximately 225 species have been reported from india the members of this family are found in the tropical subtropical regions of the world and also in warm temperate regions let us now look into the general characteristics of this family habitat most of the plants are mesophytes some are xerophytes habit these plants are woody trees some of them are woody shrubs few of them like calamus are vines with unbranched erect columnar stem and with a crown of leaves at the apex roots being monocotyledonous family the roots are fibrous and adventitious now this is a pic of cocos nucifera from the botanical perspective here you can see the habit of the plant you can see the stem is erect solid unbranched columnar and at its apex apex there is a crown of huge leaves here you can see the fruit this is the compound spadix the type of inflorescence with a woody spathe this is the bract and here you can see the flowers wherein the female flowers are present towards the lower side and many male flowers are present towards the apex this is the pick of the male flower of the female flower this is the ls of the female flower this is the floral diagram of the male flower the floral diagram of the female flower now this is the realistic pick of cocos nucifera the habit and this is the compound spadix type of inflorescence the larger ones here and the lower ones you know they are the female flowers whereas the male flowers are towards the apex and they are many in number this is a pick of the fruit which is a fibrous drupe this we will deal a little bit later now about the stem stem is aerial erect solid stout pillar like unbranched and the surface is rough because it is covered with the persistent leaf bases and it has got a crown of leaves at the apex leaf leaves are compound if they are palmately compound they are called as fan palm for example borassus if they are pinnately compound they are called as feather palm example phoenix and areca leaves are large petiolate with sheathing and fibrous leaf base persistent extipulate and with parallel venation inflorescence inflorescence over here is very large it may be either simple spadix or compound spadix sometimes it may be panicle with both shaped woody spade plants are monoecious or dioecious monoecious means both the male flowers and the female flowers are found on one and the same plant dioecious means the male plant and the female plant is separate now let us look into the flower flowers are small the sessile bracteate unisexual sometimes for example in phoenix rarely it may be bisexual it is regular that is actinomorphic hypogynous and trimerous perian in case of uh, monocotyledons the calyx and corolla are undifferentiated and such a whorl is called as the perian the members of the perian are called as tepals here the tepals are six in number they are arranged in two whorls of three each 
so it is referred to as 3 plus 3 they are free so it is polyphilous they are persistent and they are leathery so it is referred to as coriaceous and being colored it is called as petaloid let us now look into the essential roles the androecium in male and bisexual flowers stamens are six in number that is in two holes of three each they are free so polyandrous and anthers are versatile and dithicus Taminodes may be present in the female flowers gynosium in female flowers and in bisexual flowers ovary superior tricarpillary syncarpus sometimes it may be apocarpus trilocular and each locule with a single ovule on exile placentation style is short stigma is small and sometimes pistillodes may be present in the male flowers now if we look into the floral formulae in case of male flower you can see this is actinomorphic and this is unisexual that is male then perianth is 3 plus 3 androsium is 3 plus 3 gynosium is 0 in case of female flower it is actinomorphic unisexual that is female p remains the same 3 plus 3 androsium is 0 gynosium is tricarpillary so 3 within the bracket means syncarpus underlined below it means it is superior ovary if it is apocarpus there is no bracket in case of bisexual flowers this is actinomorphic bisexual variant remains the same a is 3 plus 3 gynosium is 3 within the bracket with the underlined or without the bracket now fruit fruit may be berry it may be having fleshy or non-fleshy exocar or it may be a fibrous droop for example in case of cocos crucifera seed is single embryo is small and endosperm is abundant now this is a pick of uh, areca cottage plant that is the betel nut betel nut uh, plant or betel nut palm so this is uh, uh, the pick of the flower this is of the seed you can see the young fruit over here this is the gynosium the ovary the style and the stigma this is the floral diagram of the male flower wherein you can see the perianth is made up of two walls inner wall is made up of three tepals outer wall is made up of again three tepals these are alternating with each other and there are the stamens which are six in number gynosium is absent in case of female flower you can see perianth also is made up of two walls three plus three but the inner wall here it shows the imbricate estivation whereas the outer wall is exhibiting the valvate estivation you can see over here the tears of the ovary when an ovary is tricarpillary and syncarpus well this is a pic of the uh, betel nut uh, plantations this plant is calamus rotung in Canada it is called as betta and uh, this is the cane palm now let us discuss about some common plants belonging to family ericaceae the first one is cocos nucifera in Hindi it is called as nariel it is also called as kalpavriksha second is areca katechu in Hindi it is called as supari commonly called as the betel nut palm third is porasis labellifer also called as palmyra palm fourth is caryota urens commonly called as fish tail palm toddy is tapped from the stem the fifth is calamus rotung it is also called as uh, climbing palm or satan palm in Kannada it is called as betta metosalon drumphi this uh, from this uh, palm tree sago is extracted phoenix dactylifera sorry phoenix dactylifera is called as the date palm that is the kharjura here the fruits are delicious now these are the pics of uh, some of the um, plants which are belonging to family palmae uh, here only genus phoenix has been shown so phoenix dactylifera you can see the plant over here and you can see over here the fruits 
this is the Khajuraho. The Phoenix uh, canariensis, you can see huge pan like leaves. So, this plant is uh, uh, grown as an avenue tree. Phoenix sylvestris, this one in Canada it is called as Echelimara. And uh, here the fruits are also edible. And from this plant, uh, Nira is extracted, and so also Toddy is extracted. Now, this plant is Caryota urens, commonly called as fish tail palm, and this is the Roystonia regia, also called as royal palm. So, as seen in the pic over here, these are the plants which are grown as avenue tree. Now, let us look into the economic importance of this uh, family. First, Cocos lucifera, the most common, that is coconut. It is called as Kalpavruksha because all the parts of the plants are extremely useful. The decoction of the root is used as mouthwash, whereas roasted roots are used as uh, dentifrice. The stem being very solid and columnar, it is used as pillar. Leaves, they are used for roof thatching. They are used for making mats, fans, baskets, etc. The midrib of the leaves are used for making brooms. From the young inflorescence, Toddy is obtained, which is uh, an alcoholic, intoxicating and alcoholic drink. The endosperm of this uh, fruit is of special interest. The endosperm of the young fruit is in the form of a liquid, which is used as a sweet and refreshing drink, which we call it in Canada as Yalniru. Whereas, when the fruits mature, this liquid endosperm gets deposited on the inner side of the endocarp to, uh, and that is called as the copra and from this copra uh, this copra itself is used uh, for cooking and for many purposes it is also used to extract vegetable fat and from this copra oil is extracted which is used for uh, cooking it is also used as hair oil it is also used in making soaps and shampoos, etc. The fibrous mesocarp of this fruit uh, is the coir, and that is used for making uh, brushes, ropes, mats, carpets, etc. The woody endocarp of the fruits is used to prepare uh, several decorative articles. The large terminal bud of this coconut plant is used by some as vegetables. Phoenix dactylifera it is called as date palm. This is the Karjura, Karjura tree and uh, here the fruits are edible, they are very nutritious, they are used in bakeries and confectionaries, toddy is obtained from the stem and the leaves are used for thatching of the roofs. Phoenix sylvestris called as a wild date palm, from this plant nira is obtained and if uh, it undergoes fermentation then it is called as the toddy. The leaves of this uh, plant are also used for making fans, mats, and they are used for roof thatching. Borassus flabelli fir, also called as palmyra palm. Toddy is obtained from the inflorescence of this uh, uh, palm, and it is used in making palm sugar as well as palm jaggery. The trunk of this plant is very, very hard and durable and salt resistant, and hence it is used for making crude bridges, sweeps, umbrella handles and walking sticks. The leaves have been used for making fans, baskets, for roof thatching. The fiber of the leaf base is used for making brushes. Roasted fruit itself is eaten. Young seedlings are eaten as uh, vegetables. And from the seeds, flour is obtained. Areka katechu is our own beetle nut. The seeds are chewed along with the beetle leaves, especially after meals as it is carminative in function. Fancy beads are also made from these seeds. Metro Zylon Rumpi is commonly called a sago palm. Uh, so, sago is obtained from the pith of uh, the stem and this is used as a diet especially uh, during the recovery stage of the patient, that is during convalescence. This sago is also used in the textile industry for sizing and for finishing of the cotton yarn. Elias guinensis, this is the palm oil. 
The palm oil over here is obtained from the fleshy mesocarp and this is uh, edible. It is also used in the manufacture of uh, soap, candles. It is used as lubricants for internal combustion engines. This oil is also used as illuminant. Calamus is the cane plant. It, this is a source of common cane and it is used in making furnitures, frames, walking sticks, etc. The rope which is made from this plant is very, very strong and it is used for dragging heavy loads. Similarly, several palms, they are used as uh, ornamental plants in the gardens because they are very majestic to look at and very handsome in appearance. For example, Roystonia, Regia and Caryota urine. Now let us look into the distinguishing characteristics. Trees with stout, unbranched stem bearing crown of leaves at the apex. They use a large compound. Young leaves applicate, extrapolate with long petioles. Paddock's inflorescence enclosed in a persistent space. Flowers unisexual, variant six in two walls of three each. Nail flowers, six stamens in two walls, anthers versatile. Female flowers, carpels or tricarpillary, thin carpus, rarely apocarpus, superior, trilocular, and uh, rarely unilocular. Root is berry or true. To summarize, this is the second most important family trees with stout, erect, and branch stem, pan palms, and feather palms, monoecious or dioecious, paddock inflorescence, trimerous flowers. Edible oil, sago, toddy, and cane yielding plants belong to this family. Well, these are the references that I have used for uh, making this presentation. Thank you.